Good morning, I'm Melissa Flores. Here's what's making headlines this morning. Bakersfield College students are waking up bright and early this morning as classes resume today for spring semester. BC will be offering its shuttle service once again. The Renegade Express Shuttle will take students traveling between the Panorama Campus, the Weil Institute, downtown and BC's Southwest Campus. It's scheduled to run from Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. at three different drop off and pick up locations. This is video from Friday's protests in Shafter. Employees say that they are paid per bin collected and the price they receive for a bin of fruit has gone down. According to workers, it used to be $53 per bin. Now they say it's $48 per bin. The wonderful company sent this statement to 23 ABC. They said, quote, we are disappointed that some of our third party labor contractors decided to protest at one of our fields. Seasonally, this time of year is when we transition from harvesting clementines to mandarins. Here at home, gas prices have fallen 10.7 cents in the past week. The average price of gas is $3.24. The lowest price you'll find around town right now is going to be $2.24. To see the lowest gas prices in town, head to our website, turnto23.com. Now we're going to turn to Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk with our forecast for this morning. Yeah, good morning, Alyssa. So we have a storm system just offshore and it is spinning up all of this rain right into central California. Now it's going to be a soaker for SoCal today. And for us, Fraser Park getting hit the hardest, Hatchby getting a good amount of rain. Here in Bakersfield, unfortunately, because we still have very fast dry winds coming in from the desert, it enhances how dry we are and evaporates a lot of that moisture trying to move through. So you see some 25 to 30 mile per hour winds already bl blustering through those passes and here on the valley floor. This is warm, dry air. So this morning we're in the low 60s later today, upper 50s. Not a big swing in temperatures because of these fast winds, which would be gusting to about 55 miles an hour for most places, possibly up to 70 miles an hour over those mountain peaks and through the passes. So as rain is moving on shore, at least in the mountains, it's cold enough to bring a slushy mix down to about 5000 feet, keeping a close eye on those passes for the commute for the first half of the day. Alta Sierra expecting several more inches of snow, but with this, we continue to see winds all day. So we have a wind advisory in effect. We have a winter storm warning in effect as well. Some places like this area in orange that you're going to see is some heavy rainfall for the mountains. But as we talk about rain totals here on the valley floor, only a few hundreds because again, we are so windy and dry out there. But up in the mountains, we could be seeing half an inch to an inch of rain with that snow above 5,000 feet today. Thanks, Elena. That's what's making headlines this morning. For your latest news and weather updates, be sure to check us out on turn to 23com